Hi, I'm Marisa. Um, my daughter is Simone and she's an N1 um, at the moment. When we started Simone at Blue House and we came for the tour first, we weren't really familiar with the different approaches. Um, but when we heard Sarah talking about it, it really brought us in. And there was the other thing was when we came into school, there was this peace and serenity. Like we walked into school and it was just calm. I think we really liked and appreciated the child first approach. It was the curriculum uh, was adjusting and does adjust to what the kids want to do. It's been so nice to see her grow and, and remain confident and thrive and just explore and willing to explore new things. They really hear the kids in what they want to do and they really craft the activities around that. I think they were doing an artwork and it started with one thread of activity and then how that thread of activity was layered on over the course of the three months or whatever the period of time was, it was just remarkable to see how something so basic and simple could evolve into something so great at the end of the day. And it was all because of what the kids wanted to do. It wasn't, this was a structured approach. This was what I was going to do today. This is a, it was a natural evolution. And I think that really came out strong. One of the other reasons we wanted to send her to Blue House was because of the bilingual program. Um, the Mandarin is really important to us because she will be going to Singapore school. If she needs to know Mandarin, I can't help her. So she needs a strong foundation to start with. And I think it's, she picks up, she's picking up small words. She, her favorite is mayo and, but she can count to 10. If someone's asking for a school, because everyone wants a school which is play-based and bilingual. And that's exactly what Blue House is. I think something that comes through and we really appreciate are the reflective journal as well as the um, portfolio book that uh, we get. So it's, I don't know how the educators manage to do this, but to be able to receive the reflective journal every day and to see what they're doing and for them to be able to capture the core elements and, and just small, like seemingly small little things. It's really nice, especially as a working mom, to be able to speak to and uh, to know what they're doing. It gives me assurance and it also gives me something to talk to Simone about um, in the evening. So her father and I sit there with her and she'll tell us who is this friend and that friend and that friend, what they were doing. So the reflective journal is really lovely. And then the portfolio, how the educators write a piece on what they did. And they really know each child, their personality, what they did, how they did it, how they were able to grow it. And it's really, it's very comforting to, to, to see that because then they're not just a child in the corner on the table doing a worksheet, whatever it is. The, 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 the care is there or the care, I can feel the care come through.